Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Well, we're getting settled in and thought we'd take you in with us. Let's do it. Sewanee, Tennessee at the Sewanee Inn. And we are going up in the elevator. We are. Short elevator ride. It's only two floors here. That's true. <laughs> We are staying at the Sewanee Inn here in, where else? Sewanee, Tennessee, right next door to the University of the South. In fact, the Sewanee Inn calls itself the living room of the University of the South. Such a beautiful hotel. I love this staircase. It was always a pleasure to go up it to our rooms, and uh, it is a beautiful place. The fireplaces, that uh, double fireplaces here in this entryway, different luminaries that you see in the portraits from the early days of the school. There's even a little museum that we'll go into, a little partial museum taking uh, us through the history of the yeah, Sewanee Inn. Stay here. It's a beautiful place. It is. Everything's so cozy. It is. And of course, we have to look at this beautiful view of the golf course, which is right next to the property. This one from 1912, this golf course. And just a, a breathtaking view, pretty much anywhere you go around here. Lots of artwork across the hotel. This was in one of the meeting rooms. We'll see some more in a little bit. And then in the front next to the front desk check-in is a little bit of the history of the University of the South, dating back to the 1830s. You can get a sense of how proud the school is of its history and where it's come today. Lots of luminaries in the scientific community, religious studies come from Sewanee graduates, and what was really cool was an interactive display. And to hear that story, you'll have to come here and see it for yourself. Well, actually, no. You can go online and see all those videos, which is very cool. We stayed and watched several, and this was a nice little introduction to the university. This is the parlor area that we spent quite a little time in. Really cool place. It's the, the double fireplaces I talked about. This is the, the back half of it. And then this parlor leads on to the grounds by the golf course that we saw from the upstairs view. And now we're on the ground floor looking at the golf course area. There's also hiking trails. If you've seen the video of the Sewanee Memorial Cross, that is a part of the University of the South as well. I think this was my favorite part. Such a beautiful place. Because it's a Monday, we pretty much have it to ourselves. Hello. Hello. <laughs> now this I really enjoyed. These are original watercolors by James Audubon. And you may be familiar with the Audubon Society and its dedication to animals. These are really neat. And of course, we looked at that gorgeous golf course and there's a neat little history of golf display in the front of the hotel that looks at some of the historic champions from the very origins of the sport all the way to present day, the different clubs that have been used and the types of golf balls and even the, the origins of golf tees. Very cool display. We have the 1858 dining room all decked out for fall. Very neat place. And the bar next door named Shaker Rag.
Good morning, Lauren. Good morning. On our way back, we wanted to have always wanted to stop in Cowan, Tennessee, which was an important railroad town, and we finally got an opportunity. Very similar to some of the towns that we live near. Of course, for towns all across the United States, typically they started with a rail line and then a town built up around it, and Cowan is no exception, and it still, to this day, is a fairly large hub for trains and maybe we'll get lucky and see one go by here in just a minute in fact i think one is going to be coming around the bend any moment now you ready for your train Gotta love the story of the train. Just played such an important role in making America what it is today. Unfortunately, the museum was closed today, but we got to see so much here on the outside. And of course, the train itself. Cowan, Tennessee, pretty cool. And Cowan, Tennessee played an important part during the Civil War as well. And in fact, we have a Civil War item right here. Thanks for watching, everybody.